Hello everyone, welcome to Egida platform and this is Ravin Jangir here at your electrical faculty and in this video I am going to talk about the converter control characteristics. Now we will talk about the modifications of the control characteristics. So if I talk about the modifications of the control characteristics, why the modification required? So look at this one. So look at this one. If I talk about this, this is a rectifier slope, and this is the characteristic for the rectifier, and the, that slope, and this is for the inverter. So look at this. Earlier uh, we have discussed the slope was actually higher, okay? Or you can say the more slope for the rectifier and the uh, less slope for the inverter. But sometimes what happens if inverter characteristic is having the more slope, then what will happen? This the this thing may happen. That is the three point. So three point operating is so there will be an instability conditions so now if uh, in the s uh, i can discuss about the first point listed here there is a previously controlled region where as we have discussed in this was restricted up to the first quadrant only that was restricted to the first quadrant and which was actually avoid to unwanted reversal of the power if we are actually one that there should not be any reversal of the power so for that we have to do this uh, we have to apply for the, the previous one now what are the some modification which are actually required because that was the normalized you can say the uh, characteristic curves so if i talk about the uh, the first that is the mode stabilization that is the mode stabilization and the second is the voltage dependent current limit and the mode stabilization is actually a kind of the advancement angle control and the voltage dependent current is actually depending on the current and the voltage also both are interrelated so in the so this is uh, so if i talk about this there are the three point three operating points are listed here because when the characteristic curve if the characteristics both the characteristic curves are intersecting with each with each other it means it is going to be operational point so here you can say the slope of the rectifier what the slope of the rectifier uh, rectifier is less as compared to the slope of the inverter and because of that what is happening we are having the several operating point as it is having the three point instability condition so it may have more than that also so for that we may do the uh, constant beta control and also the constant voltage control in constant beta control what we will do like this the inverter characteristic will be like this and the constant voltage the inverter characteristic will like this okay so let's start with the some of the points now. so if i talk about the mode stabilization so as the above slope fe jo fe so fe slope and ab slope which i have already discussed then it is having the three operational points so these are the operating operating points and which actually causes which actually causes the instability instability of the control so instability in the control so eliminate so if we want to eliminate this condition what this condition it is actually because we only need only the one operating point so if we need only one operating point so we what can we do the inverter characteristics are modified and in they are modified in such a way that it will have the positive slope okay otherwise what will we can also modify using the constant voltage so this is the for the constant beta so this is the constant beta control and this is the constant voltage control so we are having the both the types of uh, you can say the curves otherwise uh, now this point this requires the normal operating value of the extinction angle to be greater than the minimum value so that is the basic condition written there there that is the normal operating value of the extinction angle what is the extinction angle that is the gamma and that should be greater than the minimum value now so if we talk about the voltage dependent current control so that is actually called the vdcol so that is the low voltage dependent current operating control okay so now if we talk about the first point during the ac pulse what happens 
at the inverter and cause the commutation failure. So there, there is having the commutation failure when uh, there is a AC voltage. So it is important to reduce the stress on the inverter voltage. So what happens? As we are operating, as we are operating up to here. So this is the operational, you can say the operational area for the inverter and the rectifier. Okay, but what happens? This is the only the limited portion for us. So what happens due to this when there is a fault condition or commutation failure? So there will be a stress on the inverter walls. So there will be a stress on the inverter walls. So which can be achieved? So we do not want that. So which can be achieved by the VDC well? So please remember this uh, this name that is a VDC well. That is the low voltage dependent current order limit because here the current and the voltage value both are dependent. So what we have done. One second. What we have done, this is the beta control, and we have taken the inverter to like this the constant control. Now we have moved like this. So, current order limit. So, we have limited the current order up to here, and then we have moved this, this characteristic curve directly to the VD. Okay, so this is called the voltage dependent current control. So, I hope up to this you have understood all the related characteristic curves. So Tata bye bye and thank you.